Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. The markets are soaring today for no apparent reason. Although I could tell you that, statistically speaking, if the S&P 500 ended down 20% in 2022, there is an 85% chance that the following year will be profitable. The odds are therefore in our favor for a prosperous 2023. And it's possible that many people may reap tax losses at the end of 2022. Right. The previous two months. Now, they are repurchasing these positions through 2023. Both of these make sense, but it's difficult to discern which is true. There has not been any significant bullish news released today that would warrant a 1.5% increase in the NASDAQ. Guys, I believe we will utilize this concept for today's video. Nonetheless, we must discuss AMC because AMC is up today, and we have major catalysts such as Fed Chair Jerome Powell due tomorrow. That may perhaps change things up a bit, gentlemen. So let's get into it. Lick like and subscribe to the channel. Provide your comments, questions, or concerns in the space below. Thank you all for watching, and let's go. So first things first, I believe that Jerome Powell will talk tomorrow early in the morning. This event is not even listed on the economic calendar. Therefore, you won't even see this occur. Therefore, it may come as a surprise to some. But he is scheduled to speak early tomorrow morning. And depending on what he says, he might definitely affect the markets. Today, we heard from one additional Fed speaker who is not a voting member. So, it's not all that significant, but they basically restated what Bullard, Cash Carry, and Bostick have been saying since the release of the employment report that nothing has changed and they remain on the same course. Guys, despite the fact that you saw in the employment report that raises were essentially declining, so that will be a major catalyst tomorrow in terms of actual economic data. In terms of other catalysts, there is a three year bond auction that might impact the bond market and will move the stock market at least slightly. However, you have nothing to major in. In addition, you have no plans on Wednesday. Then, on Thursday, you will receive the CPI. The Michigan Consumer Sentiment Poll and Bank Earnings will be released on Friday. From this point forward, profits and economic data will be the primary focus of the markets. CPI-based data points will be of the utmost importance. And, as we discussed in the previous video, there is a risk with CPI, at least this time around, because expectations are so high and inflation just dropped in December. If it did not, there will be an issue. Consequently, I want to be somewhat cautious about positioning on the long side right now. If you want real-time access to all of my trades, let me know. Obviously, we just sent an alert targeting the Nasdaq's decline, given that it is currently up 1.5%. In addition, 2023 will likely be marked by the occurrence of a number of important events that are likely to inspire apprehension. This phobia has not been observed in 2023. I believe it is overdue and that it will arrive very soon. Linked within the video's description below. If you want to join, it's a nice tool to have, but it's not the be-all and end-all. That is not it. If you guys want to join a great community though, it is a fantastic tool for doing so. Now let's discuss AMC in greater detail. Because AMC stock is up approximately 3% on the day, which is nothing huge, but it appears you are still in this bottoming shape and we just received another relative strength index positive signal. So let's pull up the remote control and check what's going on. And now we are over 30. We are currently at 32.302.50. This indicates that you are no longer statistically oversold. This is indicative of a bottoming formation, and the 50-point level represents neutrality. So, if we reach that neutral level around 50, there will be a significant move to the upside and a significant rise upwards from here, possibly within the $5 to $550 range. And I believe this could occur with very little warning, and it might even occur on a day when the markets are down. When you see these kinds of bottoming formations when you're not flushing to, you know, new low after new low, you could look at Tesla, right? After today, there is a strong possibility that the price will begin to bottom out. But I mean, the stock was practically falling straight down. So this is a notable deviation. This is not a process of bottoming out. Perhaps a bottoming process is occurring at the moment. You have surpassed the 5-day moving average. 
Consequently, this is positive news for Tesla. However, with AMC, it has been dull. The process of bottoming out has obviously begun. Moreover, after the bottoming phase, there is typically a rally to the upside. And the further from 360 we get, the better. 360 will represent the next level of assistance. And this is a multi-year support dating back to 2021 around February, when we went through the rise clearly in late January and then plummeted down to about this 360 level, after obviously the adjusted price of the stock after stock splits and everything that we've seen over the years. So this line right here will be extremely crucial and a very respectable support level if we reach 360. And that may be a reason why we're already in a bottoming process because we're so close to reaching 360. And often, it is not necessary to reach those multi-year support levels before a bottom is reached and the bottoming process begins. So from a risk-to-reward perspective, the current situation with AMC could not be better. This is the best possible risk-to-reward ratio. You've already fallen, you've already felt the pain, the volume is low, and you're near multi-year support levels, yet you're still able to maintain your position. You have not yet conducted any technical testing on those. Therefore, I believe that the risk-reward ratio appears to be rather favorable for some long positions, particularly those involving options, because options are so inexpensive. And avoid confusion. Short interest in ANC stock is extremely strong, and the stock's cost to borrow is bar rates. This stock has the potential to climb quite rapidly in a short time frame. Dude, come on, men. Do not be deceived by AMC. ANC is no longer this submissive creature. When conditions are favorable, it is a formidable foe. Therefore, I believe you should not be very gloomy at this time. I believe you should see that 360-degree technical level. But I believe you should go long in AMC stock right now if you have had shorts or puts on AMC. This is my personal view. I am not a financial counselor and am working to become one, but not yet. And even if I were, I wouldn't be able to give you financial advice because you don't want to be short on AMC anymore. Take that as you will. You've extracted whatever you could from AMC, and this appears to be a phase of accumulation. However, you also have CPI on Thursday, December 12th. Depending on the bank profitability, therefore, it might either contribute to a market decline or market rally. However, I do not believe it will offset the market's response to Thursday's CPI report. If Thursday's CPI is abysmal and we fail to meet forecasts, the markets will drop significantly. Even if banks make good profitability, I do not believe it will be enough to save the markets. Now, if they had poor earnings and the markets had already performed poorly, you can deduce what that would entail for the markets. Bank of America, United Corporation, G. Morgan Chase & Co., Citi, Wells Fargo, Delta, BNI, Mellon, BlackRock, and First Republic Bank are currently present. As previously said, banks will be significant because they provide insight into the condition of the average consumer. Following the conclusion of this film, please leave any comments, questions, or concerns in the section provided below. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you in the future video.